here for EA Sports. Well, the battle lines were drawn in game one. What's in store for game two of this series? And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. and he's going to the penalty box. Missing Kinson in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. Denies him with the pad. The Ants will play it in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Sokolov. Stopped by the goaltender. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. And he takes the feed. Takes the feed at the point. Yeah, the officials caught that hat. Man advantages up one team's back to even strength. And here comes the judgment from the official. When you lose position on your opponent and you're fighting for that puck instead of coming on under the stick for the takeaway and you go over and you have, you're going to get the call. Slashing it is. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Russia's got it in their own zone. From the point, they take control of it. Typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Stops that one. Back at the point, they set it up. Here he is, wrestling on that. Denies him. Rushes in now. And he takes the feed. Let's go! Right with the man! Click. Power play strikes James, and that's excellent movement along the perimeter and just waiting for your time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute. That's a great slot shot. The Avs land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Fires it! Denies him in close. Missing Kemp's gained possession along the boards. He's got a step! Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Missing Kemp's had the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. He's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Block the side. Scores! And they took it into the back of the net. On there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count.
resume here. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. He got all of that one. Denied by the goaltender. In the final moments of this period, Niz and Kemp's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Niz and Kemp's down despite numerous scoring opportunities here late in the first. Volks one possession. Takes the shot. Big save right at the end. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. Face-off here in this second period is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Nationals are fortunate that they're only down by one goal heading into the second here, James. I mean, it's been a brutal first period of turnovers. Just seems like there's a lack of communication out there. like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity moves the puck kissimo's taken down to the ice we got a penalty coming up here comes the call from the official a tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer you're in a one goal deficit and you got to find a way to generate offense james real tough one to take Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. The Nationals have it now. Takes it from the right side. All alone! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of his crease, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Rush has got the puck against the boards. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave of momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Russia's on a roll tonight. Now they've extended the lead to two. They're on a roll, and you can see it in their body language, the way they're communicating on the bench. When you're winning and you're feeling it, everything's alive. Puck is dropped, play resumes. Moves it quickly over to Maltzev. Nizenkamp's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Kestrel. Scores! What a shot! job by the net front player here looking back seeing where the eyes of the goaltender are and moving accordingly but if you're the goaltender you gotta out battle the net front player you gotta find a way to bob and weave and to stop that puck Nissen Kemp's goal late here in period number two has given them new life here late they'll need to take that life and re-energize themselves but it's been all about good habits not getting frustrated at the score finding a way to put it in they just did it Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go. <sighs> Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. And they have 
drop the puck here on the final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Nisnikam set a strong 40 minutes of play, and they've dominated possession time, James, but they have to find a way to get up on the board and get the equalizer here. I expect them to have some urgency to activate their D and try and really look to attack off the rush. Takes it to the front! Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Nissen Kemp's got possession of the puck. And the pass is picked off. Gives them nothing in front. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Dees won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save! He gloved that one! A stop with ease. Picked up along the boards by Keshnikov. Sometimes you can get frustrated, rattled, and you can start to really see the body language go down, but they have stuck with it. They've clawed their way back, and they're in the game now. Nissen Kemp's leveled the playing field with that big-time goal here in the third. And usually at the late stages of a game like this, when it's tied, the victor is the one that goes for it and knows that they have to find a way to execute. If you're too worried about making a mistake, you're going to sit back, and you're going to have the game taken to you. third period here James you know you're in a tight game you don't get these opportunities often on the breakaway he cannot believe he missed Vaults won it off the face off and someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air and another call against the home team and these fans have I think they've had enough. They've had enough, and they're booing at the officials and for the players. This is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the official's going to call the game, and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. Rush has got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. It's a great look at the net, but it is way off target. It can be fast, it can be hard, but it's got to hit the net. Made the stop on the play. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Really tough situation here. End of the third period and a penalty call. Going to have to kill it off and find a way to get to OT. Both teams step inside the face-off circle. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. With the stop. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. to finish off the third period here. James, you're urgent on the puck to find a way to get it to the net. And now that could wind up at the game-winning goal. This is a real deflator for your opponent. Miz and Kent's looking to close things out here late in this third period as they continue to lead. on the prize after now taking a second straight win to go up to zip. Yeah, and you know what the top player in the room will be about. It'll be about staying present and in the moment. That is one game at a time, because in order to have killer instinct, you've got to find a way to take care of business today. Not yesterday, today. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute their Warriors here, Cheryl. Oh well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between a fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game.
From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sadolsky. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.